What's going on out there, everybody? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with an outfit tutorial. We got three Halloween outfits for you guys to put on, to wear, to do whatever you want to do in these outfits, all right? They're all pretty dope. I just made them today, all for you guys. Took me a little while, man. These outfit tutorials are not that quick to make, let me tell you, but it is worth it for you guys, all right? So I hope y'all bought the new Vigilante because this thing is freaking awesome. And I just wanted to show you guys this little clip. I thought I got stuck here. Uh, make sure you buy everything in the DLC or in the uh, all the content that was here uh, that we got today because once the face paints go, once the masks go and the shirts and everything, you cannot get them until next Halloween. So you got to wait another 12 months. So I definitely recommend taking advantage and buying everything that you can now. All the money glitches have been patched for the moment. Uh, I think the song glitch is still up, but nobody wants to do that anyways. All right, so let's get into this uh, tutorial. First off, you're going to need the orange joggers for this one. So what you want to do is go ahead and press pause, go to online tab, go to jobs. And when you go to jobs, we're going to be playing sumo. You want to go to play jobs, rockstar created and go to adversary mode. Now, once we get to adversary mode, uh, the job is sumo. Now sumo, you can get all the different color joggers or I think all of them. But the best thing I use sumo for is for purple and orange. Okay, so for this tutorial, or for this first part of the tutorial, we're going to be getting the orange joggers, all right? So make sure you go to Sumo right here, launch it up. You're going to need a friend. Uh, if you can join a random and maybe talk to him and let him know what you're doing, maybe he'll, you know, hook you up. But yeah, you're just going to need one other person for this. When you launch into Sumo, go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to Style, and then head over to Player Mood, and then just hit right on the D-pad and hold it down to spam player mood for about 20 seconds. Look at the timer at the bottom right so you don't have to count in your head or anything like that. Just follow that timer, do it for about 20 seconds. And then when you see that little uh, interaction menu disappear, which is going to be very soon, that means I'm opening up my Xbox dashboard so that I lag out quicker. PlayStation, after you guys uh, spam on the D-pad, you guys can just uh, suspend app and then everybody, we're all going to spawn down just like this, all right? Xbox, we got a timeout. So that's it. That's how you get the orange joggers. Make sure you go ahead and save that to an outfit slot. Now let's get started on this orange pumpkin outfit. Okay, so I'm going into the clothing store right now. And the first thing we're going to be uh, going to get is a crew t-shirt. So go ahead and go to tops and then go to the uh, t-shirts. Once you're at t-shirts, go over and get a crew t-shirt. All right, go ahead and equip the crew t-shirt. Now go to, go to overcoats and at overcoats, you're going to want to put on the tangerine open parka. All right, that's the orange one, Tangerine Orange Park. It's a little ways down the list. I think it's number 45 um, or 59, I should say, actually. Yeah. So the Tangerine Orange Parka, Open Parka. There you go. That's what you want to put on. Now that we got that on, you're going to go ahead and we're going to put gloves on. I know I went to go put shoes here, but I wanted to go put the gloves on first for you guys. So here we go. I'm going to get the gloves on and the gloves that we're going to be putting on are the white cotton gloves. All right, so go to gloves and then go all the way down to the white cotton gloves. A little ways down the list, but here we go. White cotton gloves, there we go. So equip those. Now go ahead and make your way to the shoe section and go over to the sneakers, all right? Now in the sneakers, you want to put on the white plain high tops, all right? There you go. So the white plain high tops are the sneakers you want. Now you are free to go ahead and save this outfit to that same slot where the orange joggers were saved at previously. Once you've done that, you want to get this piece of clothing. Go over to the heist coveralls, all right? And you want to get one of these quarantine suits. So the quarantine, the hazard, the fumigator, or the scientist. All those that have the gas masks on, you can just get one of them. You don't need to get all of them. Just get, just buy one of them, have it in your inventory. You're going to need it for this outfit and for the third outfit that we're making in this tutorial. Okay, so the, uh, the next part is go ahead and head over to your apartment. We have everything we need. Go and open up your menu and put on the quarantine outfit or whatever outfit you have that has a gas mask on. All right, once you have the gas mask on, we're going to do the telescope glitch. Now the telescope glitch, all you got to do is run by the telescope, smash around on the D-pad, and then pull away. Open up your interaction menu just like that. The headgear should come off. Once the headgear's off, go to style. Go over to the orange outfit we are making with the joggers. Walk away, close your interaction menu, and the gas mask should glitch on just like that. Now that the mask is glitched on, you want to save this outfit just like it is. Sometimes you want to save it once, or you definitely want to save it once, but sometimes you want to save it twice. Uh, that's totally up to you. It can be really glitchy, so I just wanted to uh, to let you guys know that. But uh, once you have it saved as an outfit, go ahead and press pause, go to online jobs, Rockstar Creative, go to missions, and start up a Titan of a job. Once you're in a Titan of a job, 
your first time doing this, you will probably end up like this, with a black kind of, you know, mask over your head. You don't want that bag over your head, all right? If that bag comes over your head, just go ahead and quit out of the job. Once you've quit out of the job, you spawn back, click on the orange outfit so that you have the gas mask equipped. Now, go ahead and start up Titan of a Job once more. When you start up Titan of a Job, this is what you want to see now. You have the invisible chest, the invisible torso, whatever you want to call it, and that white little, you know, hoodie thing over your uh, head. That's what you want to see. So head over to an ammunition and just save the outfit as is, just like this. All right, save it over that same slot that we've been using the entire time. All right, so once we've done that, now we have the cool invisible torso. That is probably the centerpiece of this outfit right here. Freaking love it. And we're about to get, oh yeah, so just quit out of the job. Once you've saved it in the job, you can quit out. And when you come back, you should still have the invisible torso, all right? All that should stick. Now head over to the mask shop. Once you're at the mask shop, we're going to be picking up one of the monster masks. It's the evil pumpkin. All right, so the evil pumpkin is, uh, I think it's number 70 on the list. It's pretty far down there. I was going to scroll down and then I was like, yeah, screw that. So, uh, yeah, guys, and if I sound weird at all, it's because my wisdom tooth in the back is growing in and it is killing me, man. It's so painful. I'm not going to lie, but I'm still here coming out with this tutorial for you guys. So, Evil Pumpkin, equip that. Go ahead and save it right now. Once you've saved that as an outfit, uh, you, got, you got the mask equipped. Go ahead and we're actually going to pick up a helmet now. These helmets are pretty expensive, I'm not going to lie, but this one looked really cool with this outfit and I wanted to include it. All right, so you're going to be going to the combat helmets. Once you're at the combat helmets, put on the Tiger Quad lens. All right, the Tiger Quad lens, you'll see it matches pretty good with this outfit. There you go. Now, and go ahead and put it on. Now, when you buy it, it goes on automatically. So go ahead and go to style and then click on the orange outfit so that it goes away. You just want it in your inventory. And now you just want the outfit saved with the mask. Head over to the telescopes right here. And we're gonna do the telescope glitch on the beach. So run by it, smash run on the D-pad, pull away, open up your interaction menu, and then go ahead and go to style now and go to accessories. Now head over to your helmets and you are gonna wanna put on the helmet that we just bought, the Tiger Quad Lens. When you put it on, back out of the interaction menu, walk away and everything should glitch together. And there you go. Most of the outfit is done at this point. Head over back to the mask shop and you can save it as an outfit just like this. All right, you can go to the clothing store at this point or the mask shop because we're gonna be going to the clothing store right now anyways, but I just wanted to save it as an outfit right there. So now once we're back at the clothing store, you wanna go ahead and this part's optional, you know, it's all up to you. Go to the accessories and I wanted to put one of these chains on. Uh, I thought this one looked the best. It's the platinum heavy square chain. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the platinum heavy square chain, put it on there. It's just floating because you know he's got the invisible chest and you can save it as an outfit just like that. And the last piece of you know clothing, I guess you can consider it or glitched clothing, <laughs> is we're gonna be putting on the duffel bag on this, all right? So I'll leave a, a tutorial about the how to get the duffel bag, but I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer it. Go to the, go to the description and the pinned comment if you wanna know how to get the duffel bag. But uh, if you already have one, switch to that outfit, fly up in the air with a buzzard or an oppressor, jump off, and then open up your parachute. When you open up your parachute, you wanna open up your interaction menu, go to style, and then hover over the orange outfit that we've been working on. Once you're hovering over that orange outfit that we are working on, you want to go ahead and safely land. You can even fall, I think, but it, it works both ways. Uh, you just have to get him getting the animation taken off the parachute. So once he's taken off the parachute, halfway there, bam, hit it, and then there you go. It glitches on to this outfit, and you want to just go ahead and go into the clothing store and save this as an outfit. All right, so right on the D-pad, hit X, and then boom, save it. At least that's on Xbox to hit X to save. Uh, I think PlayStation is square. But uh, yeah, and that's the first outfit, guys. I hope you like that one. This one uh, took me a little while to make, but definitely worth it, I think. Really cool. That is the Invisible Torso Pumpkin Halloween outfit that I've made for you guys. Enjoy that one, all right? So let's move on to the next outfit. This is the Joker outfit. If you want to get the purple joggers, just start up Sumo, and then you're going to be choosing the purple team, all right? So get the purple joggers from Sumo, the same job we got the orange uh, joggers from. All right, so now you want to go to tops and go ahead and go to the vest. Now, the vest we're going to be putting on is the olive check vest. All right, so here we go. Go ahead and scroll up the olive check vest just like that. And then the vest shirt we're going to be putting on is the pale blue vest. All right, a pale, pale blue vest shirt. God, my tooth hurts. All right, so pale blue vest shirt. That's the one we're going to be putting on right there. And then 
you actually want to go ahead and put on a tie as well so we're going to be putting on the green tie all right and i think the green tie really goes well with this i'm going to show you guys how to do the makeup for joker don't worry about that this isn't a literal joker adaptation right here guys this is just kind of a, an homage to heath ledger the greatest joker to me that's ever lived man he did an amazing job sorry to see him you know gone man he was a great actor go ahead and put on the black driving gloves while you're here but this is an homage to heath ledger as the joker that's why we got the hair looking like him i didn't get the face looking like him but this is just it's not it's not supposed to be an exact representation all right just an homage to the man heath ledger all right the legend now go ahead and go over to the shoes and we're going to be putting on the all right here we go all right yeah there we go okay so once you've got the shoes on the lime oxfords uh smart shoes once you've got those on now i'm going to show you guys how to do the makeup first save the outfit and this outfit's pretty quick all right it's just a nice simple joker outfit for you guys to go ahead and do whatever you want in but uh once you've got that saved i'm going to show you guys how to do the hairstyle and the face paint all right this is how you get the joker look all right this is part of the halloween face paints right here okay so once you sit down on the chair first thing we're gonna do is the hairstyle you want to do the slicked hairstyle and the color number is 39 all right so the slicked hairstyle right there color number 39 you can go to 40 if you want it's different greens it's that's up to you you know it's totally personal preference but this is what the hair was like in Heath Ledger's uh, version of the Joker so I wanted to make it look a tiny bit just like him at least with the hairstyle now the face paint we're going to be going down to the Sorrow Demon, all right? Put the opacity all the way at 100%, and for the makeup, go to lipstick and go to the smudge lipstick and put on the red, any one of those reddish colors that you want. If you guys want to know why mine looks different than yours, probably it's because I also have a skull tattoo that was glitched onto my character. Okay, that's why mine's going to look a little bit different than yours. I have a skull tattoo that's under the face paint, so... It's gonna look a little bit crazier. Doesn't look exactly like Joker, I know. Once again, an homage to the man Heath Ledger himself. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the tattoo that I got. All right, and the tattoos on my arms, basically, just so you guys can kind of see. But this is the tattoo that I have on my face. All right, I'm gonna go to the head pieces right here. And then as you can see, when I scroll up, see that? That's what it would normally look like, you know, if I took off the, uh, you know, all the tattoos on the face. All right, so that's how you get that look, all right? But I like the tattoo look, the skull look. You see, I have it locked, but it was glitched on there in the original SP to MP glitch. So I keep it on there, all right? Because I have not gotten 500 headshots in this game. Hell no, I've not gotten that at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and you can go ahead and put simple tattoos on. I didn't want his arms to be crazy littered with tattoos. I wanted them to look pretty decent. So there you go. That is the Joker outfit. And just make sure you save all that just like that, okay? Now moving on to the third outfit. Now you wanna go ahead and get the black joggers. Black joggers, also you need one more player for this. You're gonna go ahead and go to the adversary modes and you wanna start up vehicle vendetta, all right? I always use one. I think you can use any of the vehicle vendettas, but number one works for me every single time. And you're gonna do the same method to lag out and get the joggers, okay? So black joggers, there we go. Once you've gotten the black joggers, go ahead and go into the clothing store and now we're gonna start modifying this outfit. So you're gonna go to vests and you're gonna put on the navy sweater, quarterback navy sweater vest, okay? And you wanna make sure you buy the white band vest shirt. All right, the white band vest shirt. That's the one that we're gonna need, okay? Make sure you buy that because it's gonna need to be in our inventory. Okay, so once you've bought that, I would recommend buying all those band vest shirts. They're really cool for these glitchy outfits, okay? So just buy them all, honestly. Just have them in your inventory. So once you've done that, now we're going to go ahead and put on the canvas shoes, okay? We're going to put on the all-white canvas shoes over here. So press right D-pad in the shoe section. Go ahead and go down to canvas shoes and the all-white canvas shoes right there. We're going to put those on, all right? Those are, those are going to look really cool with this outfit. Let me tell you, man, this is more of a running gun outfit right here, all right? But it's still all Halloween themed. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and go to gloves, and we're going to put on the white cotton gloves, okay? There we go, the white cotton gloves. Put those on. It's optional to put them on right now, but at least have them in your inventory, and then go ahead and save this as an outfit, all right? Once you've saved this as an outfit, now we're going to go ahead and do this crazy little glitch, all right? So first, what you're going to need to do is head to your apartment, all right? Once we are at the apartment, go ahead and go into the closet and we're going to do some glitchy stuff, all right? Remember the uh, hazmat suit that I used in the beginning of the tutorial with the first outfit? We're going to be doing the same glitch. So go ahead and go to the telescope, smash around on the D-pad when you're wearing the quarantine outfit. The headgear will come off, pull away, open up the interaction menu, and now we're on style. Choose the outfit we're working on with the vest. As you close the interaction menu and walk away, you will now have the gas mask glitch on. 
Now you want to go ahead and save this as an outfit. All right. So right on the D-pad right here, press X on Xbox to save, square on PlayStation, and then save it as an outfit just like that. You can save it once, you can save it twice, totally up to you. I save it usually twice, maybe three times, all right? So now we're gonna do the same thing we did last time, start up a Titan of a job, right from in your apartment. So play jobs, Rockstar created, missions, and a Titan of a job. Go ahead, once we've started in, we're gonna get the same result as we did last time. Pretty much every first time you do this, you're gonna get the black bag over your head. You don't want that, so just quit out of the job. Once you've quit out of the job, we're gonna spawn back down and you wanna select your outfit again so that that gas mask gets back on there. Once the gas mask is back on there, now hit online, start up Titan up a job one more time. Once we're in there, that's what you wanna see. You wanna see the invisible arms, all right? So invisible arms is what you wanna see. And once you do that, go ahead and go inside of your closet and we're gonna be putting on that white band vest shirt. All right, so here we go. Go ahead and uh, go to vest shirts and the white band vest shirt, click on it. Once you click on it, check it out. Boom, you get the glitchy top right there. The white band vest shirt with the vest, it's all glitched out. You can go ahead and save this as an outfit if you want right here. I noticed that the gloves did come off. That's why I said it was optional to put the gloves on previously. So at this moment, you can go ahead and just throw those gloves on. So I'm gonna go to accessories, go to gloves, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the white cotton gloves again. All right, so once I got the white cotton gloves on, boom, I'm gonna save it as an outfit, all right? Save it as an outfit, and then you can go ahead and quit out of Titan of a Job once you've saved it. Save it once or twice, totally up to you, but make sure you do all this in the job and make sure it is completely saved. So now, once we've quit out, here we go, we spawn back down. Now, head over to the mask shop. All right, once we're at the mask shop, we're gonna pick up another monster mask. It's gonna be the Weathered Skull mask, okay? So right on the D-pad, go ahead and go to monsters, and we're gonna be picking the Weathered Skull mask, all right? Number 14, or 24 on the list, I believe. All right, so here we go. Number 24, the Weathered Skull mask. Now, once we're on that, go ahead and save it as an outfit once you've put it on. And then if you don't have one already, I think most people do have one of these already, but just in case you don't, pick up a bulletproof helmet, all right? It's gonna be the black bulletproof helmet that we're using. Once you pick it, it's gonna equip. So now go ahead and go to style and choose the outfit we're working on so that you got the mask. Go back to the telescope, smash around on the D-pad, and then now once you've done that, everything comes off the head. Open up interaction menu, go to style, and then go to accessories, and we're gonna be picking up the helmet, all right? The black bulletproof helmet. Once you've equipped it, walk away, close the interaction menu, everything glitches back on, all right? So now, we've already done all that stuff, that's why I was showing you. So now go ahead and go to body armor, and just throw some body armor on this. Make sure it's auto show armor on, and put some standard body armor, just like that. All right, just like you see right there. So go ahead and press right on the D-pad at the mask shop and save this as an outfit. And as you can see, this is coming on as a very cool RNG outfit. You can definitely freak people out by killing them with this thing. And then simply now, if you want, you can, you know, you can put a parachute instead of the Bonnie armor. It's totally up to you, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to put the duffel bag on here. So the same process I did last time, pick an outfit with the duffel bag and I'm using my oppressor, so I'm just going to fly straight up. Once I fly straight up, I'm just going to bail and then open up your parachute. I'm gonna wait a little bit until I get really close to the ground, open up your parachute, hold the left and right bumper if you wanna go slower, and then open up your interaction menu and hover over the black joggers outfit we've been working on. Go down and land, and then click on it right about now, and then right in between of him taking off the parachute, there you go. The bag is glitched on, and go ahead and save it as an outfit. And there you go. That is our third outfit right there, guys. I saved it twice, like you see me always do, and boom. Those are all three outfits, guys. I hope everyone enjoyed this tutorial right here. Haven't done an outfit tutorial like this in a while. Uh, once again, all the money glitches are patched, guys, so enjoy all the new Halloween content. Buy the Vigilante, buy all the masks, buy all the face paints, all right? Make sure you buy them all so that you can have them year-round, and that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, make sure to slap that like button by hitting the blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new by hitting the big red button. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody, and have a good night.